Welcome to this product preparation instructional video for making 3D gels from Advanced Biomatrix Collagen products. In this video, we are using the Pure Call Collagen. However, the same methods and procedures can be used for several of our collagen products, including Pure Call, Nutrigen, Vitricol, Telecol, and Fibrocol. You will need the following materials purified collagen from Advanced Biomatrix, test tubes with caps and a holder, pipetters, pipettes, and dispensing tips, 10x PBS phosphate buffered saline, or 10x cell culture media, 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, cell culture wear such as flasks, dishes, or plates, a way to monitor pH level such as a pH meter, or pH paper, and you will also need water, a cell culture hood, and an incubator. Many of you will be using the collagen for cell culture, which requires a sterile collagen gel. If this is the case, employ aseptic techniques in a cell culture hood. Important parameters for preparing 3D collagen gels include ionic salt concentration, neutral pH, and optimal temperature. These parameters will all be specifically discussed as we demonstrate this collagen preparation procedure. To start, dispense 8 parts of the chilled collagen solution into the test tube. In this example, pipette 4 milliliters of collagen into a sterile test tube. Add one part of your chilled sterile 10x media to the 8 parts chilled collagen solution. In this example, pipette 0.5 milliliters of 10x media directly into the 4 milliliters of collagen solution. Immediately cap the test tube and gently mix as follows. Do not vortex the mixture. You may see a slight amount of white flocculent in the mixture. This will go away shortly. Using sterile 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, Adjust the pH of the collagen mixture to a pH of 7 to 7.4. In our example, titrate the collagen mixture with approximately 0.375 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. To achieve a pH of 7 to 7.4, the volume of sodium hydroxide may need to be adjusted. Immediately cap the test tube and gently mix. Test the pH of the collagen mixture using a pH meter or pH strip to ensure that a pH of 7 to 7.4 is achieved. Now adjust the final volume up to a total of 10 parts with sterile water. This volume should be the difference of one part to the volume of the sodium hydroxide added previously. In this case, it should be 0.5 milliliters minus the amount of sodium hydroxide added. Immediately cap the test tube again and gently mix. To prevent gelation of the collagen, maintain the collagen mixture at a temperature between 2 and 10 degrees Celsius. To form the gel, pipette the collagen mixture into the desired cell culture plate, disc, or flask. Incubate at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and allow a minimum of 40 to 120 minutes for complete gel formation. Depending on your protocol, you may employ multiple techniques for using the collagen and forming a 3D gel. You can put the cells on top of the gelled collagen, you can put the cells in the collagen mixture and then allow it to gel, or you can put the collagen mixture on top of the cells and allow it to gel. We hope that this has been helpful and look forward to working with you in your research endeavors.